Hey guys, uh, I wanted to bring you a quick Borderlands video. Uh, this is kind of something I discovered on accident. I don't know if this was already discovered recently by somebody else, or maybe nobody has been uh, making videos about it. Uh, but I wanted to bring you this uh, video because I figured out this really awesome way of farming the warrior. Or, I'm sorry, uh, not the warrior. I'm thinking Borderlands 2. Farming the vault. Um, if you go into your menu and uh, there's a oh and I and just I just remembered um, there there are a few prerequisites to doing this so you have to have completed the first playthrough all the way um, and uh, I don't know if you have to have turned in the mission already but I think you do have to have at least finished the first playthrough and when you go into your menu select playthrough one. And then go to play game. Now it's going to automatically make me go straight to the vault map. And uh, when doing so, after we load in, it's going to show that there's nothing there, pretty much. Like you go there, nothing is around here. But uh, the, the funny thing is, if you go back to the fast travel station, um, and go to one of the DLCs. I've just been doing it from T-Bone Junction. I think you can probably do it uh, from Underdome as well. But if you go into one of the DLC maps after you've reloaded the game um, and then you turn around and go back to the vault, all those chests that were there before when you beat the... Uh, when you beat the vault are all back again like you can go back and just simply refarm as many times as you want you don't have to fight anybody there's nobody that you got to beat you just simply go back to the vault and there you go you just simply walk right up to the chests and open them <laughs> and uh, I, I discovered this a couple days ago and I'm like how come nobody has talked about this or maybe somebody has, and I just haven't found the video yet, but it it's weird. So uh, these, most of these weapons are gonna range all the way between, like I think the lowest is level 25. I've seen a couple level 30s. Um, these three chests here on Always the left nice to are gonna be anywhere between 20 and five and 31. Like these ones right here, this chest right here is guaranteed uh, different class mods and shields. This chest right here, right in the middle, is the one you are going to want to look at the most. Because this one right here has, for sure, a guaranteed All legendary. Right. And it's going to be a guaranteed legendary to your level. So if you come back to this playthrough when you're like already level 50 or some other level that you're clearly a uh, high enough level where you're clearly past the first playthrough already you can come back to this chest right here and get a level uh, legendary weapon that's the same as your level in this case it's the mugshot and I definitely already have a mugshot in fact I think believe I have two already um, there's a couple other weapons too like this gun called the U static raven that I found um, it's a level 25 um, in fact, I think I actually found this assault rifle, not in this chest, but in, uh, I think that one over there, or maybe it was this other one. Um, but if you go to this one, these are guaranteed relics for sure. Um, and, uh, these, I always, uh, like to pick these up anyways, even if I can't use them cause they're, when you sell them, they're worth a lot of money. And by doing this farming method, I have already maxed out my top. Uh, number of like top cash I can carry and which is nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine and uh, it's probably actually more than that in fact I think I if you carry more cash or if you get if you max out the the, the cash cap I think you actually still keep getting cash to set that the numbers won't display that high um, so those are always good to pick up and then sometimes this chest right here has a legendary uh, in this case it doesn't uh, one of the legendaries you can pick up as well 
is uh, these ones right here. Like I picked up this stabilized Thanos. Uh, I also picked up a Sucker Punch, uh, Nasty Hornet. Uh, this C Cobalt Firehawk, you might be able to pick up. This I actually got from one of the Vendi machines. Another common legendary that you can pick up is the Violence Pistol. In fact, I think I actually have two of them. And there's a whole bunch of others too. There's this one called the Stabilized Unforgiven, Savage Equalizer, Blast Equalizer, Shift Equalizer. Uh, this Pestilent Defiler I had a long time ago, but you might be able to pick that one up too. Uh, another really good lo rocket launcher is this one called the Hive Mind. And uh, another legendary you pick up is called the Silent Knight. So in a, which in this case, I just happen to have two of them. But anyway, you just keep farming this. You just keep uh, backing out your game, coming back to this map. And you can, this chest right here, guaranteed legendary every time. I don't know how long it's going to be before Gearbox fixes this patch. Or maybe they're, maybe they put this here on purpose since it is a game of the year edition after all. But uh, anyway, uh, that is all the uh, video for this this time around. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, click like and share, subscribe if you're new. Also, be sure to tap that bell to get all our post notifications. And we will see you guys next time.